Hi hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Real Office 360 CRM to simplify your real estate business, keep in contact with your sphere, and to work your deals from leads right through to closing. Let's get started. The dashboard gives you a very high level view of your business. There's four tiles that correspond to the four main navigation sections in Real Office 360 to work your business. The first tile gives you a summary of your contacts in your database, activities you've completed, as well as your starter loyal contacts. The next tile is a summary of your pipeline. This shows you how many contacts you have in each stage of your sales process. The third tile gives you a summary of your transactions and this is where you can set your goals and track your progress year by year. Click the edit my goals and expand the year to set your commission goal and don't forget to put in your average home sale value and your specific commission model. Once you do, it will update your scoreboard gauges just like mine here. The next tile is a summary of your schedule. What do you have to do today? As well as what's upcoming in the next seven days at a glance. Let's go to the contacts tab. This is where you'll build your database, keep it organized and keep in contact with great touch points such as follow-ups, birthdays, home anniversaries, and even wedding anniversaries for your clients. To filter your database, you can use these dropdowns up top. If I just want to see which contacts I have in my specific groups, I can click them here and say apply. There you go. Now this is all my A-list contacts. I can also show starred contacts as well as not start. To get your contacts into Real Office 360, you can click the add contact button and add them one by one. By clicking save and add another and add multiple contacts very click quickly or click save and open to add additional details in the full contact profile. If you have your contacts already in a spreadsheet or in Google, or on your phone or another program, you should be able to import them into Real Office 360 using our import or sync contacts wizard. I recommend to visit our help center, type in import here and follow the instructions in the help file. Once you have your contacts in, you can organize them very easily by selecting multiple and either adding them to a group or starring or unstarring them or even sending emails right out of RealOffice 360. As a note, we can also sync your database to MailChimp to set up automatic drip campaigns based on groups or automatic birthdays, home anniversary emails that you've entered in RealOffice 360. Let's go into a contact profile now. Down the left, you can add all the basic contact information. You can also track your activities, such as adding notes, logging or sending emails, logging and sending calls or text messages, as well as being able to add tasks for your clients in here. Family and relationships are important to keep track of. You see that I have the spouse information as well as family members and even pets you can add in here with notes. Down the right, you'll see recurring reminders. These make it easy to keep in contact every year with birthday reminders, scheduled follow-ups, and even home purchase anniversaries. You can also track past transactions and detailed property information, including property values, down at the bottom. You can use the pipeline deals to track your client's status, such as leads, buyers, or sellers in your pipeline. Let's add Monica as an active seller now. Additional information about your deal can be added by clicking on it. You can link it to a property or add a description or MLS number. Then click on the price tab to be able to input your listing or estimated sale price and your commissions will be calculated for you. You can also add tasks or attach files. All right, now let's jump over to the pipeline now. So you'll see that I added Monica here as an active listing. The pipeline is my virtual whiteboard to track all my active leads, buyers, sellers, and even closings. The other beauty of it is it's drag and drop. The idea is you work your clients from left to right down your sales funnel. At the bottom of each card, you will see the next task that needs to be done for that deal. If you click on that, it will open up the tasks. We have pre-built task workflows for buyers and sellers. You can customize these for your own sales process. You can add the tasks one by one or click apply task workflow to add all the tasks with one click. 
So let's say that we've worked Monica through our sales process. So when you're gonna close the deal, click the little dollar sign and close this deal. So there's your little party. Confirm the sale price here. You'll see my commissions were calculated for me. Confirm the closing date. And you can also mark this property as sold in the client profile. Way to go. You see that I've now reached 63% of my commission goal for the year. That will be updated on my dashboard for me. Now you'll see that Monica has moved out of my closings and over to the transactions. The transactions are all your closed deals that are tracked year by year for you. Uh, you can go back to a previous year so that you can see how your business is growing. You can also, from your pipeline, archive deals as lost or expired, cancelled or terminated. This is a great way to, if you like to track your ratio of one to lost listings off your pipeline. The other thing you can do is log transactions in here. So if you want to backfill for the current year or even previous years, you can do that here. The last section is the schedule. It's a summary of everything you've got to do in terms of tasks, but also your reminders or follow-ups. You can filter them here. If I just want to see birthdays in the current month and apply that filter, now I can see a list of just the birthdays for my month in case I want to send out birthday cards or just wish people a happy birthday. The same goes for maybe I want to see if I have any overdue tasks. There, I have one overdue. Let's mark that as done. There we go, all caught up. You can view your calendar also in a weekly view. This is great for planning your week or even in a daily view and to use it like a daily planner. One feature a lot of agents love is this Google Calendar Sync. Simply connect your Google account and your real Office 360 calendar will be automatically synced. You can then import a Google Calendar into iCal on your phone or even into Outlook. The last thing I want to point out is under your settings, there are other features such as lead capture. You can connect your website so that your leads automatically get added into Real Office 360. You can also integrate with MailChimp and sync with Google Contacts or Google Calendar. Don't forget to set up your default commissions. And this is where you can set up workflows for your pipeline and even customize the pipeline to fit your sales process. Thank you for attending. I hope this was helpful to help you show how you can manage, track, and grow your business using Real Office 360.